everybody welcome back to off the wall i'm mike and i'm sol and getting the christmas christmas thing now from d23 uh the santa clauses which is a continuation of the tim allen santa claus universe i guess, I guess. So. um i i'm on the record i we were talking before we started here i think the first tim allen santa claus movie is up there with elf as far as modern christmas classics i think the second one is a perfectly watchable mostly funny movie and i think the third one is an unmitigated disaster soul you've only seen the first two yeah i love the first one i enjoy the second one a lot never seen the third one and i think i'm better off for that yeah no prior to the show i gave her like a 30 second rundown of what it's about basically he has a kid and he at one point decides he doesn't want to be santa and then does so nothing really happens so there anyway. you go um Spoilers. so yeah well you know it can, fine here boom uh <laughs> but uh so this is a continuation of that story this takes place after we know that um Tim Allen is returning. Elizabeth Mitchell is returning as Mrs. Claus. Um, Eric Lloyd is back as Charlie, who's uh, Scott's son. And David Crumholtz is back as Bernard. Everyone else is either new or recast. So let's, uh, all right. All right, let's see what you, we've seen a lot of Halloween stuff. Let's see what they got for Christmas. Let's see. Attention, everyone. Santa has an announcement to make. For the good of Christmas, for the good of my family, I, Santa Claus, have decided to retire. <laughs> we have a grease dancer, right? <laughs> You're interviewing people. Who's taking over? Yes. Can't wait to. <laughs> <laughs> Give us your best ho ho ho. Oh, okay, here we go. Ho 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 maha ho maha. <laughs> I called a little audible there. Anyhow, thanks so much. I sing, by the way. <laughs> no, Brady can sing. That's <laughs> 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 me. I'm so in. I'm so okay, in. Okay. I'm so in. I look, I know people don't love Tim Allen right now, and that's fair and that's fine. Um, I thought his show, Last Man Standing, um, up until the point where it moved to Fox, those first few seasons that are on ABC are fantastic. Um, and this feels so in line with what the first two Santa Claus movies did. I. And and I love me, I love me a good cameo from everyone's favorite nationwide insurance rep. <laughs> Those commercials are fantastic of him with him with ho, Red. Ho, ho, ma. <laughs> <laughs> no, Brady could sing. Damn, damn it. <laughs> um, no, uh, yeah, I, I'm in. It's it's it, it's it's Christmas themed. It's the Santa Claus. Yeah. And they got us to chuckle. And it made me laugh. And that's all you got to do is make me laugh. So I'm in. I'm on board. I didn't know this was coming, but I'm glad it is. I'm glad that they've got. I didn't know it was a series, too. Yeah, I didn't know that either. And I think that's, uh, but that's honestly, that's a neat idea because it's dropping on uh, November 16th. Uh, okay. it, doesn't say how many episodes. Will we get a new Santa Claus by Christmas? Maybe, but if it's you know when you look at so November sixteenth, I'm trying to I'm pulling up my calendar here, um, which is a Wednesday. You got one, two, three, four, five, six weeks until the twenty first, and then that weekend is Christmas. So you can do six episodes, one a week, basically counting down to christmas i yeah. think that's a neat idea that feels pretty strategic that was probably on purpose i love it i think that makes we all the sense. A, we'll, we'll get a new santa by christmas cool awesome i really 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 hope it's peyton i really hope it's peyton i hope it ends with peyton being santa claus because 
I didn't know that was something I needed in my life until now, <laughs> but now, yeah, I kind of need that. Or just, I hate, I really hate to say this. Maybe it should be Tom Brady. <laughs> I was just about to say, I was like, what if Tom Brady is Santa? I, I, <laughs> what if I he's hate, like, I'm, I, I'm going into acting now. I, I hate everything about that. And I think that's why I love it so much. Because it would be just a huge, just great meta piece of humor. Um, but, you know, I... I think they need to go through, like, every quarterback. Like have yeah. interview like Patrick Mahomes needs to interview uh, Eli yeah. Manning needs to interview That's what it is. <laughs> give it to Eli at the end of the season give it to <laughs> Eli at the end of the series have Peyton just standing there just like come on just, yeah something like that like it's Tim Allen so he's a huge football fan so I'm into it I yeah if it does end up if they do end up picking a new Santa although I'll tell you what I think the from a storytelling perspective, I think having it end up being Bernard would be, I mean, just so poetic because he's yeah. been there with him through all this time. Um, I think Bernard becoming the new Santa would be a really interesting way of kind of mm -hmm. bringing this thing full circle. Um, I, cause like, I, I don't want it to be Charlie. I don't want it to be his son that he has with with his with Mrs. Claus, um, and I, I don't want it to be just some unknown. I th I think having I think Bernard kind of makes sense story structure wise, yeah. and odds are I'll shed a tear if they make it, if, if they give it to Bernard. And it needs to be either Bernard, one of the Mannings, yeah. or Tom Brady. Or Tom Brady. Uh, those are the only four options. <laughs> or or Vince Vaughn. No, no, don't do that. No. Or Anna Kendrick. No, that movie was terrible. Um, uh, oh, you know what? Alec Baldwin. He was a great Santa in Rise of the Guardians. Uh, I was thinking, I think it was a Hallmark movie. It was, or it was on ABC Family back when it was called ABC Family. It's the Santa Baby where like Santa had a daughter who was like a lawyer in New York. Wasn't that the Anna Kendrick thing? This was way before oh, Anna okay. Kendrick. That this was, was when this was okay. when I was a child. Because oh, okay. the Anna Kendrick one is called Noel. I've this one it. was like when I was a child. I forget that. It. it needs it needs to be an adorable puppy, and it's Santa Paws, and it's the crossover that we never knew we needed, and thus begins the Avengers initiative that is the Santa Claus verse. <laughs> I just cracked this wide the hell open. Anyway. <laughs> It's tired. This is it like needs to be one of the snow dogs. It does this is like the twelfth trailer we've reacted to today? So I'm very <laughs> tired. Yeah, I have done all of these, and I still have to edit all of them. But I think it was a nice one to end on, which is just wrapping up the wrapping up the year, going into the Christmas. I love the Christmas season. I always look forward to even the crappy, crappy holiday movies that show up on like Hallmark and all. Like, I, you know what? I don't care. It's it's Chris. I love Christmas time. I'm into it. This made me laugh. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna watch this easily. But you know, let us know what you think, though. I'm curious. Are you are you able to get past the, the Tim Allen of it all? Are you thinking that maybe it should be a different football player? If you if you say, <sighs> no, I'm not even going to invoke his name. He left the Browns, so I don't care. Anyway, um, let's let, let us know which football player should be Santa Claus in the comments. Yeah. It should be Joey Votto from the Cincinnati Reds, and that's a baseball team, I'm aware, but baseball is a superior sport. I said it. Find me on Twitter. I agree. I, I agree. So Find us on Twitter. All the Twitter stuff's in the description. Baseball's the better sport. It's got songs, okay? Take Me Out to the Ball Game is a goddamn classic. It's, a, it's America's pastime. It really is. Uh, it's a song about peanuts and Cracker Jacks. That's fantastic. We'll see you guys again. I am out of jokes. We'll see you guys again next time here on On the Wall. Bye.